The AP test, most questions that ask you to take the derivative are going to have some sort of this chain rule in it. And so sometimes, like, I've heard people call it, like, the most complicated rule or whatever, but, like, it's whenever your graph doesn't just look like x, it looks like something a little bit different, right? So what I think is, like, maybe we don't have sine of x, but instead we have sine of something else. Or we don't have 2x plus 3, but we have 2x plus 3, like, to a certain power, or maybe the square root of 2x plus 3, or something like that. So it's, we have these different things. And so we call that the chain rule. So we're going to kind of do the same concept that we've been doing, looking at the polynomial and rewriting it. So if we had this 2x plus 3, right, and we wanted to take that derivative so far. Oh, my goodness. That's love. That is love. So far, everything we've been doing is just expanding it if we can. So this one, f of x equals, we could write this as 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. And I'll save us some time and expand that for you. You get first one, 4x squared, plus 2x times 3 is 6x, 2x times 3 is 6x, 6x and 6x is 12x, and 3 and 3 is plus 9. And then still times this other 2x plus 3. And off on the side, you could do 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 times 2x plus 3. I'm going to save us some time and just tell you that once you do all that work, you get 8x, squ uh, 8x cubed plus 36x squared plus 54x plus 27. Right, that's that. Now, what I do want to be careful, and I saw a couple of you guys do this on the homework, is you did the derivative and you still put equals here. Would that be correct? No. 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 This is still equals equals because what is it equal to? It's equal to f of x. What was I doing in all three of these lines? I was just rewriting it or expanding it. Yeah. Right? Once I take the derivative, I can't put equals anymore unless I define, hey, this is now f prime of x. So this is kind of a new line. It's almost like, you know, you could like even put a new line on here. Right? It's like separate. So derivative of this is 24x squared plus 72x plus 54. And I think everyone should be comfortable with that by now. Right? What rule is that, by the way? What's the name of the rule I just did? Power rule. Power rule. Okay. So that's power rule. I didn't do, uh, you know, multiplying like a product rule. I didn't do quotient rule. I just did power rule. Uh, technically, I could have done, remember I said that triple product rule? But that's nasty. No one wants to do that. So I expanded it. Now, there is a new rule uh, that we're going to learn. It's called chain rule. So same thing we've been talking about each time I kind of was talking about Newton or, or Leibniz. Uh, this one was Leibniz, and he figured out the chain rule first, and it's probably like one of the most powerful things for derivatives. And so basically, his notation, I'm going to give you his notation, and then I'm going to give you mine. So his notation is if f of x equals g of h of x, then f prime of x equals g prime of h of x times h prime of x. That looks kind of nasty. Now, I did do a warm up today because uh, I wanted to give us time to practice these. And so I want to do this quick. But if I had done a warm up, what I would kind of do is something from the summer assignment, which is like one of these. If we had, remember, like f of x equals something like x squared 